You too, what is good? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. It's time, guys. This is my 2019 Summer Room Tour. So, where I'm at right now is, uh, first and foremost, about to hit a 1,000 subscribers. So, I just want to start this video by saying thank you so much to like my 950 subs that have been with me through the last like three years on and off you know taking uh, crazy breaks me pushing through school um, and here we are summer 2019 and I'm hoping to get to this 1000 mark and have an awesome 1000 subscriber contest so for all of those that have been around the last few years and have seen my room tours um, I, I try to do uh, one every year a full-on room tour every summer so for those that have seen those, you know, not not too much has probably changed. Um, I will say this is probably the biggest change um, out of all of them, though, in terms of what I've added to my collection and, and reorganizing my room. Um, now, but th obviously the the big the bigger importance is for all of you guys watching my channel for the first time or that have been around, you know, for the short while and haven't seen any of my room tours. Obviously, oh, you can always go check out my old videos and uh, compare it to what it looks like now. But here we are now. So this is, it is the, the uh, July 2019 and here we are, guys. So uh, let's go into it. I always stand in this corner and like to start uh, from the outside door. This was my garage for those that don't know. Um, four summers ago now, uh, I built this room with the help of my dad uh in our garage we uh walled it up and and made a, a comic book game room out of it so this is the outside door that leaves in my awesome drapes my marvel drapes that my mom made pretty sweet huh guys um with some classic uh covers so moving off of this door and i said this in my last video i have star wars stuff everywhere so, and I, I just recently pulled these out. These were collecting dust. Uh, I'm trying to reorganize my wall. So I just, uh, my wall. So I just threw those right there. At least they're on display, right? I'll get to my Transformers stuff uh, in a minute. But we're going to go over here. This is my movie poster wall. So I, I believe I have maybe one or two more since last summer. But I do have more posters. I just haven't put them on my movie poster wall. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, next is our gaming area, which is really for my kids. There's my little dude. Say what's up, buddy. Oh, he's got his headphones on. He's in the zone. Say what's up. Okay, there we go. So he's playing some, uh, some Fortnite, uh, on the Xbox. So, uh, on top of this is a bunch of random, uh, stuff for me. I got some, some figures, some, uh, Star Wars figures. I got my cool, uh, DC boxes of cereal that are kind of falling all over the place and then uh some voltron stuff got some kids trophies up there got some old hot wheel stuff and uh minecraft stuff for the kids this is my kids area here uh, i try to have them clean it up it's still kind of a mess <laughs> with their toys and and whatnot i got my r2d2 and my yoda and i got my darth vader mask got my voltron figures and uh going to this corner this door here is uh, what leads into the house, obviously. Um, awesome acts of kindness from OMG Chris. Mindy Wheeler art signed. Got my Mike Zek uh, Secret Wars 11 by 17 signed. Okay, so this right here. So as we go over to more my side of the room, let me get let me get in this corner and give you guys kind of a full scope of what this is looking like. So you see my main unit back here, and for those that don't know, uh, when we were building this room after uh, the four walls were up and it was carpeted, I built that unit from scratch. I built the blueprints. A lot of things that I could have learned, uh, or a lot of things that I could have did better. I'm extremely happy with, with how it came out. As you see, I have the units, the individual units in here that fit long boxes. And then I have a regular shelving unit that I put on top that fits books and whatnot. Um, but, uh, I used, uh, plywood for the top shelves and I shouldn't have because they, they warp. They can't take the, the weight 
So that was a, a silly move. But and then as you can see over here, comics. Oh, <laughs> that sounds into his game. This is my little uh, tripod that I've been trying to use for my my haul videos. Uh, so, but going back over here, guys, this is my Star Wars wall for the most part. Um, this hasn't changed too much. I have all of my. Uh, they're kind of crooked. I should have even them out a little bit before I started. I have all of my episodes, right? So starting from the prequels all the way up to the original trilogy, to The Force Awakens, to The Last Jedi. I actually like that Last Jedi poster. Not happy with the movie. <laughs> um, a bunch of Star Wars stuff up here. This hasn't changed too much. Over the last year, I haven't really been buying too many toys. I bought a few more Transformers. Uh, I don't know. That... I think that's about it, really. But, yeah, I haven't... I've just... If I have money... If I've had money to spend the last year, it's, it's been on comic books, really. Um, so, as I was saying, though, about my movie posters, as you can see over here, I do have two Infinity War posters as well as my Endgame posters. There's some comics and some supplies behind them, but I wanted to have them on display, at least, until I get them on my wall over there uh, to, you know, to hang up properly. And then... Uh, going back to my Star Wars wall, I do have the Rogue One poster, and then I have a Venom poster. So this Venom poster I just put up right here for now. That's definitely going on the um, the wall over there, the movie poster wall. So I got four posters there that need to get hung up. Um, let's go through a little bit of my comics um, right here. This is my uh, this is my slab collection, guys. This is all that I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. But uh, oh, and somebody I'll actually inquired recently. I haven't been able to respond. I sent comic books out at the end of March to CGC, and they still haven't. They've been they received them, and they're still sitting. And it's been over three months. I'm getting kind of pissed, man. I mean, I know it's like what I think it's like seventy seven days. They but it's been way over that. It's been over ninety days, and I'm like, come on, guys, this is ridiculous. But, uh, so I can't wait for my, I believe I sent, what, seven or eight books out. Um, so I got my, my war, <laughs> Warlock number one, Inhumans number one, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, First Appearance of Cloak and Dagger, First Appearance of Silver Sable, my Captain America number 100, and my ASM 300, so... <laughs> That's all I got. Hopefully, I can do a video soon, man, with the ones that I sent out. So, um, I'm going to go more into some of these boxes in a minute. Um, but the, the newest thing here, and let's go over here. The newest thing in my room are these uh, shelves, okay? Um, I did a quick little video showing them off, but not in a full room tour. So, these shelving units are plastic, and you can see that they're kind of caving in from the weight, but they were cheap, whatever. They do the job. But what I did, because I had a lot of these boxes just on the floors, and I had them in long boxes too when I started, besides obviously my boxes that are on the shelf, but they, they're perfect for long boxes. I love it because I can easily pull them out and not have a problem with having to like pick up a whole heavy long box and whatnot. But um, these ones are awesome because I have easier access to them. And what I started doing was I organized it to where most of the stuff that you see here is um, silver bronze age runs, okay? So going over to my table, and we'll look we'll look at this wall. If you guys haven't seen it before, I got Marvel posters on this wall, including the big a uh, amazing fantasy uh, fifteen. And then I got random toys and trades on the top bookshelf. I have a bookshelf sitting out in my garage. I didn't take the whole garage, by the way. There's still some garage that I left as the garage. I have a bookshelf that I want to put right there. So my kids are going to have to move some of their toys out of the way. And I think I want to take all of my trades and whatnot and use it on that bookshelf. And I want to utilize these shelves, especially because the plywood can't really uh, keep the weight up. Uh, I want to utilize this for toys because, as you see, you know I have a lot of toys here. I got some pops. Some uh, some Star Wars stuff, um, lunch boxes, toys, Millennium Falcon, um, random toys over here. But as you can see, like some of the toys, like right up here, they're just kind of shoved in there, and they're not even on display or they're stacked. So yeah, you know, <laughs> I want to be able to display uh, some toys better. But 
Um, and then I will go over, we'll, we'll pan over to my Transformers wall. I do have some DC posters back there. But, so my Transformers wall has grown a little. And I do have some Transformers, again, that aren't on display because I'm, like, running out of room. Um, what is my newest one? I, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I got the, the three, uh you know, uh, Decepticon airplanes, Skywarp Thundercracker Starscream, G1 Megatron, Ultra Magnus, um, Rodimus or Hot Rod, and then um, Optimus, obviously. Got Soundwave right over here, my favorite Decepticon. And my kid has a whole bunch of toys right here. And I always talk about my son's backpacks. Um, they are organized, so you got Star Wars toys in the Star Wars bag. Marvel toys in the Marvel bag. Uh, must be more Star Wars. DC toys, so forth. So, all right. So coming over to my my area, guys. This is this is where the magic happens. Um, yeah, it's. I tried to clean it up as much as I could for this video. Now, what we got here? So I have I have I have supplies like everywhere, but I try to have a system, right? So. This is like my boards that, you know, I have some regular uh, current polys. Then I got some Mylars, some uh, current Mylars, and then Silver Age Mylars, and then boards. And I got more dividers because I'm, I'm doing, trying to get more dividers in, uh, labeled up. And then I got more supplies down here, though, that I work from. So at least it's like, it's all right here. It's functional, you know, and then I got uh, some tape. I, I usually have painter's tape out here, but I brought it in. Um... And then uh, there's my label maker. So let me just tell you guys. So what I do when I come out here, you know, I'll bring my books. If I have a haul or whatnot, I'll bring my books. I'll bring them out here. I'll load them into my CLZ app. And then once they're loaded in, if anything needs to get bagged and boarded, rebagged and boarded, I put right here. And so all of these books need to be rebagged and boarded and then organized and into the boxes. Um, I usually keep a couple books just on display for fun. Uh, this is obviously where I, where I make all my videos that you guys see. And then what this is, oh, here's just some new books that need, that are new, that have no bags or birds, boards altogether. These all need to be pressed. See, the thing is, guys, if you guys, if you guys see the stack of my videos, um, it's like, man, that stack never, like, it never goes away. Well, it's because I'm constantly pressing, but I'm constantly adding to the stack as well. Um, and for those that, that might be looking at these stacks, I don't really like stacking my books. Now, the ones that are going to get pressed, they're going to get pressed out anyways. But I always am conscious of stacking books where I keep some of them with uh, the uh, spine on this side. And then the next few, I'll put the spine on that side. So at least there's not heavy you know, spine stress on the books these are just extra supplies right here these are books that have been bagged and boarded that need to go into boxes that need to be filed away see here's some transformer stuff because i'm just i don't have room now one one other thing that i do once i ba bag and board i may sit th sit them right like sit them on top until i um put them away but i don't like to do that with new books really because, you know, especially with poly bags, if you sit them like this, it makes the poly bags warp and wrinkle faster. So keep that in mind. I usually, what I do though, is I say, okay, I got these freshly bagged and bored. I'll kind of put them by the boxes they're going in and I'll leave them stacked. And let me give you an example. And I'll just kind of tell you guys what this is. This stuff right here that's kind of just hiding in the corner that's really hard for me to access is all of my rebirth stuff. Except for that box in the back. That long box is my um, my uh, image image stuff. And uh, so I, I want to transfer all these books into short boxes at some point. But all of these right here need to get filed in there. And what these are, because for those uh, that don't know, I don't really buy new DC anymore except for Wonder Woman. And I was buying Action Comics. I, I just dropped that recently, and I was buying Detective Comics. I just dropped that recently as well. I dropped Batman a couple months ago. So um, all of these really are 50-cent fines, um, usually from 
uh, the store in Vacaville, Boys of Summer, that I talk about all the time. If you guys are in the area, go check them out. Uh, Kevin, the owner, he puts uh, some really awesome books in the 50 cent boxes that he has out there. So you, you'll be able to uh, pick up some good finds there. Um, so I, yeah, I have all of these to put away. Uh, this is my Wonder Woman box. So I have a couple of Wonder Womans here and I'll stack them up again. So it's like, they don't really get warped. You know, they're bagged and boarded. They're fine. They're, it's almost like how they would be sitting in a box, you know? Um, so as you can see, that's why all these books are sitting here like this. And I even got some over here. So, all right. So let's, let's just kind of go through, uh, the, the boxes, huh? Yeah. Now. When I started my room out here, right, I didn't have, obviously, all of this. So, I, I still tried to keep, this is my main section, though. And I, what I did was I put most of my DC stuff over here. And then Marvel stuff over here. I, I do have some, like, independent stuff uh, on top through here, though. So, and then, so anything after, okay, so actually... I keep, for DC, it's alphabetical order, right? So we pull this out, and we got, it starts with, like, numbers, you know? And then it goes to uh, A, and then it goes to B, Batman, uh, Flash. So um, it's all alphabetical order until New 52. Then I have separate boxes for New 52, and New 52 is in alphabetical order. C, 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 Batgirl, like A, B, Batgirl, New 52. So all my New 52 stuff is easy to access, right? Now, <laughs> once they did Rebirth, I started putting those in separate boxes, especially since I was like buying all the runs, which I, I kind of regret. Um... You know, but that was it was huge hype, right? Same with Marvel guys here. So, so with my Marvel books. Oh, by the way, so we have some. What I do with these? These are uh, franchises. So, depend. No matter the publisher, I'll put certain franchises all together. So, Battlestar Galactica. Um, what is this? Conan. So, even though those are Marvel, Marvel, they're with. Um, I have my other Conan for like what Dark Horse Conan and whatnot. All with Conan. And these are more franchises like Red Sonia. So I have Marvel Red Sonia. And then it goes to the Dynamite Red Sonia and whatnot. And then of course Transformers. Tons of Transformers stuff. My, my G1. And then it goes to um, you know the Marvel. And then it goes to IDW. So. Uh, and then this is a box. This box. Image has its own box. But I don't have too much independent stuff. So this is my independent. Um independent publisher box and the way i organize this box i need to get some tabs but uh is by publisher so a like uh action lab you know uh where's one that's recognizable chapter house then like you know dark horse and then within each publisher it's alphabetical order so that's that and then i have all my marvel stuff so uh marvel is alphabetical order Starting with numbers and A, my Alpha Flight run, uh, A, B, C, down to my Captain America complete volume one run. Uh, I'm work, working on some tales of suspense here. But uh, Captain America, got my reprints in the front. There's my reader copy of 100. And then I got the whole run in, in two long boxes. But what I did was once they did Marvel Now, I know they reset before. They reset in 96 and then again, some of them in 98 and whatnot. And then they started bringing them back to the original numbers. But so I separated anything Marvel Now forward. So that was 2012. So anything 2012 or forward was put in separate boxes and then alphabetical order. So that's how that works. These are some like some more regular stuff, like my whole run of uh, New Mutants um, and X Men stuff. I keep X Men stuff separate, by the way. Um, so everything that's alphabetized, I keep everything of X Men, like X Men Family stuff, separate. So 
if it's like cable, I'll keep it in alphabetical order to New Mutants, uh, Excalibur, New Mutants, and, and so forth. Um, so, yeah. Now, <laughs> the fun stuff for me. I also have a whole bunch of Spider-Man stuff. I have the complete run of web of Spider-Man. Um, I do have uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Two long boxes of Amazing Spider-Man in there. I have my complete run of Spectacular Spider-Man. Which is what? Three. It's it's these three. It is a full, complete run. And I started uh, decorating this myself. Um, but these are really fun for me right now. Because this is what I'm adding on to mostly. And I'm putting most of the stuff in my Lars and whatnot. So what these are, like I said, either like runs that start in the Bronze Age. And, and maybe finish in the 80s, like specific Bronze Age runs, like Black Panther, The Champions, uh, Defenders, you know. Um, but then I have full volume one runs that, you know, start Silver Age. So like Avengers. I got my Avengers um, run out here. So there are some modern books in these boxes, but only as part of the bigger run. But... Uh, it's just really cool for me because these are the books that I want. These are the runs that I want to focus on right now, you know. Defenders, uh, Doctor Strange, which started in Bronze Age and ended in like what later later eighties. Uh, my Fantastic Four, um, Volume One run. I still got some of these out in uh, waiting to get back from CGC. So Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four. Incredible Hulk, Volume 1 Run, which goes all the way over here. And as you see, you could tell by the tops. Oh, my OCD, I love it. Most of these are in Mylar. And if they're not in Mylar, they're in really nice, like brand new poly bags. But I will be transitioning. Most of this stuff to um, my Lars. So, as you see here, more um, Bronze Age runs like Man Thing. Um, I got all of my like uh, you know Marvel's Greatest, Marvel uh, Marvel Tales, Marvel Spotlight, and whatnot. Marvel Superheroes. Uh, Miss Marvel Volume One. Don't have number one yet. <laughs> got the new suit one. Where is that? Boom. Number 20. I uh, got my... Oh, complete. I need to get a tab. My complete um, Nova. Volume 1. Uh, Nova run. Full run of that. S spans over here. Some Power Man and Iron Fist. Some good stuff. Whatever. What else we got? Got some, uh, some She-Hulk. And then, oh, Star Wars. Now, I do have some franchise stuff because I keep most of my Star Wars aside. But um, I just love my Star Wars uh, uh, Volume 1 run that I, I keep it in here with my other Bronze Age stuff. Uh, what else we got over here? Oh, my full, complete Spider-Woman run. Now, some of the keys are missing because I have a key box that I've been trying to add to. So I do have the complete run of that. I have a complete run of Warlock number one. I have two of these. Another, my better copy is out at uh, CGC right now, taking forever. So, uh, oh, and then you know what? What's this? Action! Oh shoot! Look at what I found. I still have books that need to get um, filed away. Oh, this is awesome! So, wow. What I'm gonna do with these is uh, rebag and board them. Wow, I didn't even know these were in here. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Some uh, 20 cent action comic books. Oh, man. I know what I'm doing when I'm done with this video. <laughs> Some Punishers. Awesome. What else we got down here? Oh, oh, oh. My action comics, number one, guys. I, I, I am a millionaire. No, I'm just kidding. This one's probably worth, what, 80 bucks. It's a 50th anniversary reprint. But action comics. I did get, see, I'm starting to get my DC Silver to Bronze Age stuff uh, separate as well. So. All right, guys, if you're with me still, still hanging on, uh, still interested in, in 
more of the room. Let's go down here. Ah, all right. Oh, what this is. This is my packaging stuff because I have been selling on eBay. A few books here and there. Doubles. And uh, I've been making, you know, a little money. All right. So now, what do I do here? Uh, I do, uh, I, I set aside uh, variants. That's what these are. Variants that need to be filed away. So, um, uh, let's see, let's just look in here. Like I have certain variants that are done by, uh, by artist. Um, this is my artist variant book box. Excuse me. Alex Garner. And then I have variants that are just kind of random variants that I like to keep aside. I still have more of these that I need to put in here, but like my DC Comics, um, or excuse me, Detective Comics 1000s, the Action Comics 1000s, uh, and then, you know, like random stuff, like these are all my uh, Spider-Man 800 variants are all, 801, they're all together, you know. Um, so, yeah, so I, I do have variants uh, in their own box now. Don't get me wrong, if, uh, if a variant is like part of a run, like, you know, for like my DC runs that, that I was collecting, if I like the variant, like I've been, I was buying the Jenny Fries and uh, Wonder Woman runs. I'm not going to keep all of her variants in a variant box. It's just, I like her art. I like them better. Uh, and I'm, I'm supporting the run. I'm buying the run for the run. So I'll keep those in the run. Um, here's some more uh, Spider-Man, Sensational Spider-Man. I have a complete run. I have every complete run of every Spider-Man series ever made, including random miniseries. I don't know if you guys remember the Chapter 1 miniseries that came out, I believe, in 98 when they tried to uh, retcon Peter's, the, the way he got bit by the spider. And funny thing enough is that they trashed that. And uh, just a couple years later, they said, well, you know what? Let's try to do this because what they wanted to do was a new, a, you know, like more modern. They trashed that and said, hey, let's do an ultimate universe and, and tell these characters again in a more modern <laughs> uh, environment, in a more modern um, universe. So, uh, yeah, the only complete run that I do not have is Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, who knows if I ever will get that amazing spider-man number one <laughs> uh what do we got over here all my star wars stuff oh here's i have a wolverine box just for wolverine that needs to go in it this is more star wars stuff so i have uh like dr afra like all the new marvel stuff in here i have a complete run of the new marvel um uh star wars because i have a mail subscription to it and all that stuff's right here um and then okay so going over here this okay so these are in alphabetical order Avengers, to Black Panther, to Fantastic Four, Incredible Hulk. Um, most of them, actually. But, uh, now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, because I actually, I just kind of have Thor randomly over here. So, Thor's kind of out of place, but I have, what, three? No, two boxes of, of my Thor Volume 1 run. And, um, yeah, I love my Thor run. It is one that I really have been working on, and um, uh, I'm, yeah, I can't wait to get more. I have the Thor uh, first appearance of um, him at CGC right now. So, okay, guys, this box, what I did here, because I have my Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1 and 2, going all the way to 700 before Marvel Now, in two long boxes, but because... I was running out of room in those long boxes. I started taking my Silver Age stuff, Silver to Bronze Age stuff, and putting it in its own box. Got some reprints. And then um, my German issue. <laughs> and then, uh, so yeah, so all these are in their uh, se separate box. I love my Spider-Man run too. I can't wait for my uh, first appearance of Gwen Stacy to return from CGC. And then, of course, Death of Gwen Stacy to return from CGC as well. Uh, all of these are in Mylar and double. Uh-oh. Double boarded. 
So, anyways, guys, that's that. And then I did show you guys my uh, Peter Parker. Now, here is uh, my keys that I've been setting aside. Some of them. Fantastic Four, number 50, third appearance of Silver Surfer, first appearance of Riri, um, Wolverine number one, first appearance of the Ghost, first appearance of Alpha Flight, here's the number one Spider-Woman, uh, number one of Black Panther miniseries, number one Punisher, first appearance of Hydra Man, uh, first appearance of Hobgoblin, second appearance of Hobgoblin, first black suit, first black suit, First appearance of Monica Rambeau. Got the Marvel. Uh, $2.99. I want to get that slab one day. Then you know where my $300 is. Carnage. Classic J. Scott Campbell. A lot of Spider-Man stuff, right? Right, right, right. So, She-Hulk number one. My two sets of Infinity Gauntlet. Both in near mint. Uh, and then I got some random classic X-Men here. So, Man, I mean, that's that's a lot, guys. I know you saw mostly Marvel stuff in my collection, but I have like 40, hmm, I don't know, 35, I would say probably 60% of my collection or over 50% of my collection is Marvel. I would say maybe 10% is like, is independent. Um, and then the rest is, is DC. So I would say maybe 35, 40% is DC. Um, but... You know, like I said, I want to start getting my um, uh, Silver Age stuff and Bronze Age stuff out of these boxes and into short boxes separate. Um, oh, I do have my, see, I did my Action Comics that I showed you. This is my to-read list. Uh, excuse me, to-read box. Here's my detectives. I did set early detective comics aside so I can make room in the long boxes. Uh, I love uh, early, just so much Silver Age stuff, but especially on certain runs. I was saying this about Thor, no, Hulk, I believe. No, was it Thor? Yeah, Hulk too, but also Detective Comics always had some great purple and blues and whatnot uh, in their early covers. So, yeah. I love early Detective Comics stuff. This is one of my favorite covers, probably one of my favorite covers of all time right here. So... There's that, guys. All right, man. I mean, what more can I say? I have over 15,000 comics. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, what this next year brings. But for now, this is it. I am I try to be as organized as I possibly can before showing you guys. Uh, for collectors out there, I mean, I think we all know that this is a constant job but you know it's a hobby and it's something that we love uh, especially if you're constantly adding on to it we're constantly rearranging stuff you know and that's that's part of the fun sometimes I feel like it takes away from actually doing more reading uh, but now that I am out of school um, I'm still looking to get into this career so that's taking a lot of my time job hunting is crazy in these days but I've realized that uh, there's a balance, you know, there's a balance in terms of being able to say, you know what, I want to take some time, I want to come out in my room and just like be in here and organize or rebag and board and there's fun in that, you know, and sometimes when I do that, I'll find myself pulling out a random book and reading it or there's times where I will like go into my box of, you know, what to read next and I'll pull a couple out, go lay in my bed and read and fall asleep if I can now. And I mean, before being in school is so hard. Because I was reading school books and, and you know, a thousand page uh, uh, econ books and business books and writing crazy papers. But I'm looking forward to this next year. This next year being the, I ca I'll call it the 2019-2020 season. <laughs> because, you know, we'll be doing this again next summer. So, alright guys. Um, oh, I did want to say one more thing. And I, I hope to do this before the end of the summer. As you guys see, there's a table here, and there's a table right here, right? So this is the kid's little kid table, and it's got comic books on it. But I want to get that out of here, you know, get rid of it, and I want to put this folding table down, and I could put all these comic boxes, like, under the folding table. And I want this folding table to be put right here, and I, I can stand over here, 
and it would be my uh, pressing station. So once I get that set up, I'm going to do a video on that. And uh, yeah, because my press right now is like, I just randomly throw it on the kitchen table <laughs> and press some books up and it's just like, okay, why is this here? So hopefully that's going to happen soon. But all right, guys, man, this was a long video. I think this was my longest room tour video and uh, that's what's up. That's how we do it. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please, guys, leave some feedback. Leave some comments. Um, if you got questions, drop some questions. I'll answer them. Um, tell me what you guys do. If you guys collect comics and you have some room tours that I need to check out, let me know. Uh, put the links in the comics and whatnot. And if you have not done so yet, please subscribe. Like I said, I'm like 50 subscribers away from 1,000. And, uh, you know, only good things to come in the future here on my channel so it, i wouldn't be able to do it without you guys thank you all again so much and until next time